in this lecture we are going to discuss the cyclicity of numbers we will first understand what do we mean by the cyclicity of a number then we will see why we use the cyclicity of a number and then finally we will find out the cyclicity of digits in decimal number system so the first question is what do we mean by the cyclicity of a number the cyclicity refers to the repeating pattern of the unit digits of the powers of a number so when we have a number and we start increasing the powers of that number we will find there is a repeating pattern of the unit place or unit digits for example let's say we have a number n and the power of this number is small n now when we start increasing the power n we will find the results will have a repeating pattern of the unit digits or we can say the unit digits will follow a predictable cycle so there will be a cycle at the unit place of various powers of a number and this we call as cyclicity of a number so i hope you understand what do we mean by the cyclicity of a number and this concept will become more clear when we will solve some examples now we will move on to the next point cyclicity is observed in decimal number system so the repeating pattern or the cycle we just understood will be found in decimal number system and therefore we will find the cyclicities of the decimal digits only and the cyclicity of a number can be used to find the unit digit of large powers so when the value of n is large and we are interested in finding out the digit at units place then we can use the knowledge of cyclicity to find out the digit at units place without going through tedious calculations so we use cyclicity to find the digit at units place when we have large powers so i hope all the three points are now clear to you and now we will move on to our cyclicity table in this table we have two columns the first column is having the digits of decimal number system from 0 to 9 and the second column will have the cyclicity of all these digits we will one by one find out the cyclicity for all the digits we have and then in the upcoming lectures we will use the complete cyclicity table to solve the questions so let's move on to our first digit which is 0 cyclicity of 0 is 0 to find the cyclicity of a digit we will calculate the various powers of that digit and then we will analyze the different results which we get 0 power 1 is 0 0 power 2 is 0 Zero power three is zero, and so on. So we are getting zero every time, and this clearly means zero will have the cyclicity equal to zero. Now we will move on to the cyclicity of one. Like zero in case of one as well, we are getting the same result throughout. One power one is one. One power two is one. One power three is one, and so on. so 1 will have cyclicity equal to 1 and now we will calculate the cyclicity of 2 like the previous two cases we have calculated the various powers of 2 but this time to find out the cyclicity of 2 we had to calculate the powers till 9 we want a repeated pattern and to get that repeated pattern we had to calculate till 2 power 9 let's quickly observe the results we have focus on the unit places only we want to spot the point from where we start getting the same unit digit so let us start we have 2 then we have 4 then we have 8 then we have 6 now after 6 we are again getting 2 we got 2 initially now after 6 we are again getting 2 then we are again getting 4 again we are getting 8 then again we are getting 6 and then again we are getting 2 so this means the cyclicity of 2 is 2 4 8 6 you can see we are getting 2 4 8 6 and then again we are getting 2 4 8 6 similarly we will get 2 4 8 6 after this as well so we have 2 4 8 6 as the cyclicity of 
and the interval after which the repetition is taking place is equal to 4. So this means the repetition is happening after the interval equal to 4. And now we will move on to the cyclicity of digit 3. Again, we have calculated various powers of number 3 to find out the repeated pattern. Focus on the unit places of the results we have. 3 is what we are getting from 3 power 1 at the units place. Then we have 9, then we have 7, then we have 1, and then again we are getting 3. So this time we are going to get the cyclicity as 3, 9, 7, 1. When you calculate further, you will again get 3971. So this means the cyclicity of digit 3 is 3971. And again, the interval after which the repetition is happening is equal to 4. So you can see that the cyclicity of 0 and the cyclicity of 1 is kind of similar. See here in the table also. And the cyclicity of 2 and the cyclicity of 3 is also kind of similar. For 2, we have 2486 and for 3, we have 3971. So like we saw in the definition, the digits at unit place are providing a repeating pattern for the increasing powers of a number. Now moving on to the cyclicity of 4, I believe you can calculate the cyclicity of 4 on your own. Try to find out the cyclicity of 4 and post it in the comment section. In the next lecture, I will explain how we get the cyclicity of digit 4. So this is all for this lecture. In the next lecture, we will find the cyclicities of remaining digits.